Hello everyone and welcome to the Ghost Layers Report. I'm with you as always, Ryan, right here from Tokyo, Japan. Before we get started, I would like to say Happy New Year to everyone. The time of this recording is just after 12 midnight, January 1st, so we start out with a simple little toast to you and to everyone else. Hmm. I do love me wine. So, to start the new year out, which report something a little positive and also at the same time a little surprising. Now, apparently, eight U.S. sailors are suing um, TEPCO. Um, as you know, they're the ones um, operating the Fukushima nuclear power plant. The sailors charge that the company lied about the high level of radiation in the area where they were carrying out a humanitarian mission after the tsunami that of course as we all know triggered the reactor crisis now this lawsuit is not filed in Japan it's filed in, filed in the US District Court you know San Diego uh, sometime last week against um, of course TEPCO um, which is now owned by the Japanese government so effectively these satyrs are suing the Japanese government by way of TEPCO. It's a very complicated type of thing, but there's lawyers who handle these things, right? So, the uh, satyrs, you know, the plaintiffs, ironically enough, also include the infant daughter of two of the satyrs who was born seven months after the incident started. So after these gentlemen were exposed, apparently an infant child was born, and I assume one of these states was also a woman. So you have a child who was affected, wasn't even born by this, and it's also a plaintiff in it. So this particularly gets a little bit hairy and sensitive. Now, here's what the actual satyrs claim. Okay, let's, let's review that. We went over general at first, but let's get into a bit more details. Okay, so the Clayton sailors claim that the Japanese government reportedly said that there were no danger to the carrier crew, and uh, all the while lying through their teeth about the nuclear meltdown. So rescuers would, you know, rush to an unsafe area. So what they're basically saying there is that um, TEPCO, the Japanese government, didn't tell them the real dangers out of fear that uh, the sailors and their commanders would refuse to send any, send anybody in there uh, out of own, you know, concern for health of, of human beings. All right? So there's a, a lot of cultural things going on with that. The most I could say about that is to why a lie would happen is basically and I really hate to say this but um, mistrust of outsiders all right now this was now if this was the Japanese self-defense force you wouldn't see this type of lawsuit happening all right but because this was a US military and these were foreign um, helpers it complicates things a little bit but we really shouldn't go down that road at this point in time. Now, um, the U.S. Navy, in the suit, uh, said that they relied on information from the Japanese government, which, as we all know, much, much later on, they admitted that radiation had leaked into the atmosphere in a massive amount during that time. Um, now, this suit is actually 37 pages long. It's a pretty big, big lawsuit. All right. Uh, it cites numerous reports about the Fukushima crisis and the responses and all the things that happened during that time. Uh, so that after discovering the truth of how much radiation they were exposed to, the sailors undergone extensive medical testing and are going to be required to go through periodic examination of future. And as we know, these are American citizens. And we know about the health care system in America. 
So they're probably going to be looking at some pretty hefty bills, even though they are members of the U.S. military. All right. Now, what's the exact amount that we're looking at for these soldiers are suing for? Yeah, it's pretty big. Okay, um, this suit, they're suing for over $100 million in damages. And how can you really put a price on human life? We could say that's an exuberant amount of money. But when you're talking about willfully poisoning people, all for the sake of saving face or getting help and not willing to admit there's a problem before you get the help, you know, yeah, $100 million dollars sounds reasonable to me and actually kind of um, lenient in this suit. So, a little bit of good news to see that um, even American sailors are not going to put up with the garbage that TEPCO tries to put people through and the lies, you know. Now, if this, now in my mind, if this, um, they actually win this, it'll set a major precedent for um, TEPCO trying to say that radiation levels were low, that it wasn't really a big danger at the time, okay? It'll negate a lot of things said in, Fuka, in uh, TEPCO's fish, official report on the uh, days following the crisis. So this could be a huge um, suit if it actually wins, or actually, actually successful. So we should, we should wish these gentlemen and these ladies luck in this and hope that here in the new year, they will defeat uh, TEPCO and the lying scumbags and the Japanese government who've been hiding everything up.